Today, we are going to be talking about graph theory. In order to understand Neo4j, we need to understand what a graph database is, what the components of a graph data model are, and how we can use it in real life. In this section, we're going to look at a few real life examples of how we could use a graph database, including the popular game Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon, looking at a map and a maze, and figuring out how to get from point A to point B. In this video, we'll be talking about the popular game Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon. This is a game spawned on the internet that challenges the player to get from one actor to Kevin Bacon by linking them through various movies and other actors that they were in a movie with. For now, we'll look at the problem, we'll look at the data we need to solve it, and I'll show you how we can solve it theoretically, and then later we'll build it using Neo4j. The general game of Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon starts with one actor, and you're challenged to get to Kevin Bacon. For instance, in this example, we'll be starting with Vin Diesel. The challenge is to get from Vin Diesel to Kevin Bacon by linking actors and movies. I've already solved the problem, and I'll show you how we can get there by looking at the actual data. We'll start with Vin Diesel, who is in the movie Fast Five with Tyrese Gibson. Tyrese Gibson was in Transformers Revenge of the Fallen with John Turturro. John Turturro was in The Color of Money with Tom Cruise, and Tom Cruise was in A Few Good Men with Kevin Bacon. That's how the game is played. Now imagine picking very obscure or very random actors or actresses. Getting from there to Kevin's, it can be fun. When we look at a graph database, it mainly consists of two concepts. The first being a node, which can be used to represent something in real life. This can be used to represent a, an object in a data model. It can be used to represent a person. It can be used to represent a place or a thing. In this case, our actors will be our nodes, as well as our movies. We'll have two types of nodes, an actor and a movie node. The other big important construct within a graph database is called a relationship, or an edge. A relationship in Neo4j is the same thing as an edge in graph theory. This relationship ties two nodes together. For instance, the Vin Diesel node is related to the Fast Five movie node. And you can put a label on that relationship, for instance, acted in. So Vin Diesel acted in the movie Fast Five. Tyrese Gibson acted in the movie Fast Five. Tyrese Gibson also acted in the movie Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, etc. Using these nodes and edges, we can begin to see the path from Vin Diesel to Kevin Bacon. 